Sometimes it can look busy on your page when you've got a loop grid with many items inside of your taxonomy filter. Over here, I've got a loop grid and I've got two separate filters, one for color and one for poster type. Now imagine if I've got 200 of these items, you're probably going to see the filters at the top before you get anywhere near the actual posters. So let me change it for you. And what about now? We've now got some pills and now we've condensed everything. So if I go to all types, remember we had a whole list in a line did you even know which one were the children of the parents whereas here now we have a hierarchy so two of them sit under movies and two sit under tv this is really simple and easy to apply and look if i go and pick rogue it's going to go and filter for that particular poster let's pop it back into all types so imagine you've got loads and loads of items you could easily now do this and you can also do it with the colors as well now elemental taxonomy filters at the moment don't allow you to do cross-pollination fertilization between the taxonomies. They are very independent. I have been working on some code to make that work, but believe me, it can cause some problems. But what I do want to highlight is let's say you go and pick Star Wars. There is only going to be one poster. And let's say you went and picked a color. By now, hit reset all filters. Everything resets. This is done with a code snippet. It is really easy to do. I do want to point out that this is using a custom post type, but you can use standard post products as well. This code will work for you. First thing I'm going to do is deactivate the code snippet. The code for this is in the video description. You just go and copy it, paste it into the code snippets plugin, give it a title. I've called it tax reset hover just because I had a reset button and I have been doing a lot of playing with this to get it right. And with the code deactivated, things look messy, but don't be fooled by that because it's a lot simpler than what you're seeing on screen. So we have the two original taxonomy filters. This is using a custom taxonomy. So if you are using a custom post type and you've got a custom taxonomy, you can still apply this code, or maybe you're just using the standard category with your post or the products as well. Now, this taxonomy filter, look, this has got some styling because I wanted to show it to you at the start of the video, but you don't have to apply any styling because we're actually going to hide this. You have to add the original taxonomy filter on, and then what we're going to do is hide it. So I've just gone and given this the class name of tax1. And when I go to the second one, which is a custom taxonomy for the color, and I go to the advanced tab, again, you don't have to style it out, okay? This has got a class name of tax two. My recommendation is that you call them tax one, tax two, tax three, tax four. You can have as many as you want. All right, I've tried to adapt this code as much as possible, but I'm sure some of you can go and make it better. Then what you do, remember, both of these are going to be hidden out of view. What you then do is drop in a short code. And I've got three over here. I've got one for the poster type, another one for the color, and then I've got another one for the resetting of all the filters. Why have I done this? Because they're short codes, you can make them as big and wide and colorful and you can position them wherever you want. There's a lot of tools out there that, you know, give you some sort of functionality over filtering, but you are slightly limited as to where you place things out. This gives you full on control. So I've zoomed in onto the very first one. When you look at it like this, it looks really messy, but it's always nicer when things are vertical. So filter drop down. That's how uh, the two drop down buttons work. I've then sent class equals tax one. So the second one obviously is going to be class equals tax two. You can see that there. So class equals tax one. The taxonomy is poster hyphen type. Why is it not poster underscore type? Because if I go back to my custom taxonomy in the advanced custom field, the taxonomy name is poster hyphen type. Make sure they match. Placeholder all types. So when you want to like reset the filter, you just click all types. You can change this to be whatever you want. You can set the border color, the radius, the padding, the font color, the font size, the background colors. You can do all of that. The chevron color as well for the drop down. So if you want to have a particular look or anything like that, you can do that. And you can even exclude as well. Now, I know you can go into the loop grid and exclude items, but maybe you want to exclude items from the actual filter. So over here, exclude equals uncategorized. Obviously, you want to get rid of that. Comma, paid, because I on purpose just put um, a dummy category in there called paid. And I don't want to see it on here at all, but I don't want to exclude any items. If you go to the second one, it's basically the same thing. This is now tax two. 
uh, poster hyphen color, all colors. I mean, if I intentionally get rid of the U, when we go and activate that code snippet, you will now see colors without the U, which is the American way of saying it. And I'm in Great Britain, so, but I'm going to just show you that it does work. And again, you go and set your colors. So if you want to have a different look for that button, you can do that. And remember, these are short code buttons, right? So if you want to position them like, you know, uh, vertical or horizontal or have them below the loop grid or to the sides of the loop grid, or you're going to mix them with other filters and stuff like that. Imagine you're doing this for products now, okay? You got your range and, you know, other things going on. But now you want to have a particular filter system as well as a drop down. And this is the thing you really have to understand. If you've got loads and loads of items, how many are you going to show on screen? And I know you can have horizontal scroll as well, but that isn't always easy sometimes. You're going back and forth a little bit. And this works on the mobile as well. I want to assure you this works on the mobile. Now, let me go on to the third button. This one is slightly different. This one is filter reset all placeholder equals reset all. Now, I am going to stick all of these three examples into a link that you can go and click in the video description and you will see it there. In fact, what I will make sure I do is I'll stick it in the code snippet. I'll add some information at the top here. So when you paste it in, it gives you an example of what I was using. The description I got here is reset all filters. Go and pop in whatever you want. And then I've done my styling. And the difference between this one and the other two is that I also added in a hover background, hover font color, hover border color as well. So if we now activate that code snippet, you'll see that my taxonomy filters are still there. You don't want to delete them, okay? Because it's referring to them as it populates the drop down. And there's my short codes. So if I decide I want to pick this up and I'm going to move it to the start, I can do that. I've popped it back. And remember I said we had the hover colors and all of that. So look, you when you hover over it, now you don't get that over here. I didn't want to overcomplexicate things a little bit. But look, we have these drop downs. And what I really love is how it maintains the hierarchy and you get a count as well. Just bear in mind, though, that if you go and pick something over here, None of these colors apply to the storm poster. I made sure I did not apply everything to everything for testing purposes. And if I go and pick any of these items, you're just going to get nothing blank. And that is a bit of an irritation with how the taxonomy filter system works at the moment. But you hit reset all filters and basically everything just resets. Let's have a quick look at this on the mobile. And it works absolutely fine if you wanted to test it out for real. But you know what I mean by like you got too many filters and your loop grid starts somewhere down here and you know like you're forever scrolling up and down. I can just click on any of these items and it will now filter. It works. I am not kidding, right? This proper, proper works. What do you think? Do you like the look of that? And by the way, I want to say a big thanks to Sagar Kakari who actually sent this code over to me. And I've adapted it and taken it further, especially with the hierarchy and the resetting of the filters and adding in some more styling. But big thanks to him for kickstarting this off. Great bit of code. I can see myself using this quite a bit and getting a bit more out of the taxonomy filters than currently what we have. I'd love to know your thoughts and comments about this. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.